love mermaids. They're part of two worlds. They're part of the ocean world and the human world, and sometimes they have to decide which world they want to live in. I can kind of relate to that. Je vais bientôt avoir euh, 12 ans. J'ai hâte. Parce que je vais avoir la puberté. Je vais avoir les poils, puis tout. Je vais avoir, quand je vais être plus grand, je crois que je vais avoir euh, une barbe. Et je vais avoir un corps plus masculin. Je vais avoir comme plus, euh, je crois, une mâchoire carrée. Comme, euh, je sais plus, là, comme. Euh... Comment ça s'appelle Le menton carré, un peu. Puis ça, j'ai vraiment hâte d'avoir tout ça. Ben, à la maternelle, je jouais souvent avec les gars. Ben, je jouais un peu moins avec les filles parce que je m'intéressais pas, mais j'ai joué surtout à la bataille. Je me rappelle que je faisais mal aux autres. Ouais. Parce que parfois, ils étaient méchants avec moi. Je savais pas c'était quoi des mauvais mots, là, encore. Alors, je les frappais. Et euh, j'allais euh, souvent voir les insectes avec les garçons, puis c'était cool. Mais j'avais encore les cheveux longs, avec les cheveux blonds, puis à la photo de classe, ben, les filles devaient prononcer hein, une posture, puis les gars une autre posture. Puis moi, il fallait que je pose les, les filles, puis les autres voulaient pas que j'aille euh, la posture des gars. Je me sentais pas bien dans ma peau. Sometimes it's easy to think like it would just be less stressful just to fit in, but then I'm not really being myself and I find that that's an important part of living life because if everybody's trying to be like everybody else and everybody's ended up copying somebody, it doesn't make any sense to me. Often the little girls, like the younger little girls in like first grade or kindergarten, they would like start laughing and like pointing and then like looking away and then pointing and laughing and snickering and stuff. In the moment I'm just like embarrassed or whatever and I don't really know what to think and then it's afterwards I'm like, I tell myself that it's okay and like that it's their mistake, not mine. And, One of the moments where it really did make me feel sad was when I was running a race. I'm running to the finish line and everybody in the stands is laughing at me. <laughs> all of the kids from all of the different schools were just laughing at me and they're all shouting, look at that boy who's in the wrong race. <laughs> Cried and I just felt really sad and angry afterwards for a long time. When I was in grade two, I was playing outside with my girlfriends and this guy came up to me and he said, uh, what are you doing here? And I'm like, um, I'm playing with my friends. Everybody else knew that I like to hang out with girls. He didn't know that. And everybody else knew that when they asked me that question, I would run off crying. He didn't know that. So, and I'm like, and I'm like, well, I like to play with my friends. And he was like getting really mad at me and I was getting really like mad at him. We just started yelling at each other. He's like, it isn't such a big deal. Just come over and play with those guys and everything will be fine. And I like teared up and I'm like, it is a big deal. I went to my friends and they were like, are you okay? And I'm like, I'm crazy. I don't like to talk about it in public because it can be dangerous for me. My name 
needs to be Rebecca. Doesn't really feel like my name. It was when I was five when I didn't like it. No, I was three. It didn't feel right to me that my name was Rebecca and that stuff. It is hard to talk about my life when I was a girl because I wasn't. I never felt like one, ever. Tiny weapons, go in here. I do not like going in the girls' washroom at school. I hate it. Don't like going in the washroom with the girls. I just, I don't like it. Because I'm not a girl. I have a girl body, but a boy brain. I spent most of my, like, early school life just completely avoiding the washroom. I would be really anxious for people to, like, peek through, like, the little, like, seams. And just, like, anything in general that was, like, had to do with, like, revealing anything or, like, if someone could see what I was. I mean, I felt like a target, but I also felt like I could fend for myself. But I didn't because I didn't want to cause more trouble. Basically, my day at daycare would just look like I would just go play with the girls, and there was really like nothing more to it other than just I was one of them, and they treat me as one of theirs, and everyone just assumed that I was supposed to be with them because I was always with them from the start. The only problem was with the parents. We would get really angry calls from parents saying like, we can't have your kid being playing with our kid. We're gonna get the gay disease, blah, blah, blah. I started changing schools at like a rapid pace. Parfois, je reste dans mon coin quand je suis triste souvent ou quand je suis fâché aussi. Parfois, je, le, je parle à, à mes parents. Quand, quand je suis souvent triste, ben, je le dis souvent à, à mes parents que je suis triste, que je me sens pas bien. Ben, je me suis dit que je vais renaître pour euh, être un garçon. There are a lot of times where I would just want to, like, go back up into heaven. Just, like, talk to God, get my gender reassigned, just get the problem fixed and be all good. And, but, nah, I can't do that, so. Je demandais à ma maman souvent de m'acheter du linge pour gars. Puis je voulais plus avoir des choses de filles, puis tout. Je voulais plus avoir de rebout de trucs. Comme ça. Elle était surprise. Elle ne savait pas vraiment c'était quoi, mais quand elle a réalisé que je voulais être un gars, que je voulais m'habiller comme un gars, ça ne lui dérangeait pas. Elle ne disait pas non. is me. That's who I am. That that, that 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 completely explains my situation right now. There are others like me and it's not crazy to think that I'm supposed to be somebody that I'm not. But I didn't want to tell my parents that because I was afraid that they were going to react in a bad way. So I told them I was 30% and then she was like, are you sure it's only 30%? And I'm like, okay, I'm half boy, half girl. And she's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> My dad, it takes him some time to adjust to change. Since I was the oldest and I was a boy, he like pictured me as like a little mini version of him. And so like whenever I wanted to try out for a sport, he'd be like, yeah. 
when I decided to quit a lot of my sports, he kind of was like a bit disappointed about that. Cause like, you know, he's, he was like, I, I was, I was, um, I was a son, I, I was, a, I was his son and uh, like, and like he wanted me to be like sporty and like, and like strong. And so, um, and I asked if I could audition for ballet. Uh, <sighs> he was a bit against that, but my mom, but my mom was like, oh yeah, sure. Let's go do ballet. So we went out and got me some dresses, nightgowns, hair barrettes, tights. We got pink shirts. We got all this girl stuff. It was so fun. And then like after a month of them like being really supportive, I told them that I was a 100% girl. It made me feel so free. I felt like there was like a weight that lifted off of my shoulders more true to myself. My name is True Wilson, and I am 13 years old. This is my mom. She's an artist and a designer. This is Jude. He kind of misses his big brother. This is my sister. She's really into gymnastics. This is my dad. He's a personal trainer, and he's also an actor. Sit. When I changed my name, I was about seven years Je voulais pas Félix, euh, Boris ou truc parce que je sais pas. Là, je trouvais que ça me ça m'allait pas très bien. Je me suis dit oh je vais m'appeler Milo parce que ça fait beau. Voici ma maman Eva et mon père Silvano. Elle c'est Mimi. I'm back to Anthony Marsh. Uh, I'm eight years old now. My birthday was last week, so. This is my mom. Guess which one is my twin? This is my twin sister, Heather. That's my little sister, Samantha. I'm Lily Tepperman, and I'm 13 years old. I like being a girl, and I wouldn't want to have it any other way. But sometimes I don't necessarily do the things that society expects girls to do, and sometimes people don't get that. This is my sister, Mora. These are my moms, Amy and Susie. I'm Fox Ko Sano. This is my mom, Akiko. Without her, I think that a lot more unfortunate things would have happened. My mom's love is probably one of the most instrumental things in my life. C'est cool être avec des parents gentils qui te respectent, qui disent oh t'es transgenre, c'est cool, c'est cool, ça me dérange pas, tu peux. At the very beginning of my transition, like after I just transitioned, I love pink, I love being girly, I love princesses, I love all those like really girly things. As I started like getting more comfortable being transgender, I started like calming down and like getting into my own like little place. I've got a collection of action figures. I wear flannel t-shirts. This isn't even pink. This this is peach. <laughs> so I like pink. I don't love pink. Given genders to colors and pieces of clothing that we wear doesn't have any, like, importance. I like being a girl, but um, I identify as a transgender girl. I'm in the girl box, but I'm a foot out of the girl box. <laughs> There's the stereotype that girls are these little things that need to be protected by males, but we can protect ourselves. 
we can be harmful if we want to be. Mon frère me dit aussi de regarder des, parfois peut-être des films d'horreur. Je sais pas, mais c'est vrai. Regarder euh, des choses de gars un peu. Puis aussi euh, mon, mon père, c'est la même chose. J'apprends à être, à être plus masculin. Si on sait pas pourquoi, après on essaie d'imiter et ça marche pas. Ouais. Comme euh, mettre euh, du gel dans ses cheveux. Ben, mon frère surtout parce que mon père a que je veux. Find that boy toys and play with boy stuff if you're trans to a girl if and he used to be a boy. It's fine to be a girl and play with boy stuff. It's fine to be a boy and play with girl stuff. It's fine to be who you are. I wasn't allowed to wear a girl's uniform. I felt like I was playing the worst game of pretend that I that I had ever and it was the worst kind of torture that you can do to a trans child. I didn't want another kid to go through that. So what I did was I fought for trans rights in the Catholic school board. I was always feeling bad when I was there. I was afraid that other kids at school might laugh at me. I was intimidated, yes, I cried. I walk in, and then everybody goes silent and stares at me. There's guys who will say, oh, you're with des You're nul, you're and tout. I was um, pulled into the washroom by a person, and they tried to pull down my pants and figure out the gender. The fact that I had to be escorted into a washroom once because they didn't believe that I was either gender, so I had to be escorted into either washroom. The fact that that happened was really disgusting to me because I couldn't even enter something that's a basic like human right, the ability to, to go to the washroom. is my, maybe, my little riot that I caused because things need to change. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be exciting. I'm really excited because um, it's high school. In September, I am going into high school. I'm not entirely sure if I want to date a boy. Stomp. <laughs> I'm only gonna date a boy if it's really worth it. Like if it's really, like if it's really good boy. Tuz is the cutest guy that I've ever met. But otherwise, I want to date a girl. <gasps> oh my goodness, I am so, wow. Your eyes are really pretty up close. If you want to find out more, you have to watch the series. I make videos with, with my dolls. I wanted to make something that was relatable because not all endings end up in like a spectacular happily ever after, but it all turns out good in the end. I hope that we can still be friends. Avant, quand je voulais sortir avec quelqu'un, quand j'aimais quelqu'un, il m'aimait un peu, mais I didn't know what to do because before, like, he told me that I was trans and all that, so he found it a little bizarre. But now, I have a girl who loves me, and it's a little bit that I'm trans. But it's not a girl, it's a fool. Like, it doesn't bother me that you're trans, and it's what's cool. I love to have the testosterone. But not the pickers, because I don't like the pickers. It's a bit bad. I identify completely with fluidity. Every day is a new day and you can follow through with it however you want. I had a really high-pitched, annoying, girly voice and I hated it. I needed it to be lower. So for a while, I went off hormone blockers and I just let my voice go lower. To add that voice kind of either makes everyone believe that um, 
um, I'm like, they don't know what I am. I don't really have any signs that can tell people that I'm a girl. If I get breasts and stuff like that, then it's gonna become clear. I won't have people staring at me, not knowing what to do and things like that. I thought like in like two weeks, I was gonna like start like developing breasts and I was gonna be like, oh, I got boobs now. <laughs> so I thought that it was gonna happen like quickly or something, but it's not. Parce que je voulais être un vrai garçon, mais en fait j'en suis déjà un alors. Moi je me dis que j'ai pas besoin de renaître pour être un garçon. I don't think there are any genders. There isn't one gender, there isn't two genders, there isn't three genders. We're all just humans trying to find our way in the world. <laughs> 